Are aliens real? Well, that doesn't matter. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create an alien shirt design in Photoshop that looks like it came from an old vintage tabloid newspaper style. Now, throughout this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to properly set up your document for printing. You're gonna learn how to create halftone effects and other textures as well. Let's get ready, cause this is about to be out of this world. Let's jump right in. Let's start off with creating a new document. I will change my dimensions to inches and make it a 10 by 13. Resolution will be 300 and CMYK for the color and click create. Next, we're gonna create a solid color fill layer and change the color to 9B7C52, which is a more of a brown color. And then create a rectangle using the rectangle tool my size is gonna be about 2,500 by 3,400. Place it in the center of your document and change this layer's name to halftone and right click, convert to smart object. Double click this thumbnail and now we're gonna add another solid color fill layer. And here, change this one to DDEE21. And then duplicate this layer and right click convert to smart object. Now change your foreground and background to black and white and change your image mode to RGB. Now we're gonna add a filter gallery effect. Let's start off with halftone. And change the size to 5, the contrast will be 22, and the pattern will be circle. Now change this top layer to color burn. And file save this smart object. Now go back to your original document and change this layer to 20%. And now we're gonna type out the name of our newspaper. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use the outsider for my newspaper's name. And here, use the font black letter. My font size will be about 67, and the color I will use is E3EBA7. Now grab your rectangle tool again, and we're gonna make some divider lines that are about four pixels in height. And then change this fill color to B3D335. Duplicate this layer to add a bottom divider and we're gonna end up duplicating this two more times to make a outline at the bottom. And you'll see it in these next steps. Now we're gonna add another rectangle that's about 1600 by 2300. and shift it over so that it fits on the left side of your document and make sure you don't have any rounded corners. Now I rename this layer Alien and right click Convert to Smart Object. 
Make sure you change your color space to RGB. And now we're gonna add our alien image. Resize your image so that it fits within the smart object. Now for your foreground color, we're gonna change this to 85C231. And for the background color, we're gonna change it to black. Now let's add a filter gallery. On the first layer, let's add a reticulation layer. Change the density to 12, foreground level 10, and background level 33. Now we're gonna add a halftone pattern layer on top of this. Change the size to 8, the contrast to 5, and the pattern type will be dot. Now let's add another layer, but this one will be sprayed strokes. Change your stroke length to 18, your spray radius to 21, and a stroke direction of right diagonal. File save this smart object. Now we're gonna add a barcode to our design and I will be using the font code 128. And here I just have some lorem ipsum text or placeholder text. And change this color to F4F7DF. And place it on the bottom left of the alien. Now I'm gonna take my selection tool and I'm gonna add spacing around that barcode and I'm gonna select inverse and create a mask. Now at the top of my design, I am gonna type some information for my newspaper like the date, the place, and some other additional info like alien sightings. And I will be using the font Baskerville. Change your size to about 15, and the color will be a very light yellow. Now go to the bottom of your design and we're gonna create another square. And resize it so that it fits within this area. And name this layer UFO and convert it to a smart object. Change your foreground to black and background to white and make sure you change it to RGB. Now we're gonna add the UFO image and bring it over into our smart object. Resize it so that it fills the space. And now we're gonna go up to the filter gallery and we're gonna add a reticulation layer. So delete these other layers. And on this one, we're gonna use the values 12, 10, and 33. Now we're gonna add a torn edges layer above it and change these values to 40, 6, and 17. File save this smart object and go back to your original document. Now above this image, I'm gonna add some text like a newspaper headline and I will be using Florida Man Tries to Steal an Unidentified Flying Object. And here I will be using the font Muro. 
and about 17 for the size. Now for our next section, I am going to type an even bigger headline because I don't know if you remember like when you see those very old newspapers, well they still have it now, or magazine covers. They have a really big text that stands out. So for this one, I'm going to type out they don't come in peace and I will be changing my size to be about 83 and I will actually warp my text. I will change the style to arc. The bend will be 8. The horizontal distortion negative 24 and the vertical distortion will be negative 6. Now let's add a stroke to this layer. The size will be 9 and the position will be outside. Change the color to black. Change the vertical scale to about 120%. Now duplicate this layer and get rid of the stroke. Now convert it to a smart object and fill this with 0%. Now let's add a stroke layer. Change the size to six. The position will be center. Now let's add a color overlay. Change it to black with an opacity of 100%. Now let's add a motion blur. Change the angle to 35 and the distance will be 30 and then adjust it so that it has like a nice drop shadow to it. Now let's go to the bottom of our design and we're gonna add another frame at the bottom. Fill this with E3EBA6. and add a stroke that is B3D 336. And for this bottom portion here, I'm gonna type even more text. I'm gonna type out mass hysteria ensues and change the color to black with the size of about 59. Now go up to the top of your document and make two bars at the top. The size is about 815 by 46 and change the color to F9F7C4. and then duplicate this layer and place one below it. Now I'm gonna pop over to Illustrator to grab a label. Select your label and copy and paste it into Photoshop. Resize it so that it fills the space. Fill it with 0% and let's add a stroke. The size will be 7, position outside, 
and the color will be F 4F7E1. And now I'm gonna type out 15 cents for the price. and rotate the price as well. Now I'm gonna type even more text in between our two top dividers, and I'm gonna type out breaking news, we're not alone, and also a place for story and photos inside. Now place all of your art within a group except the brown background. Now go back into your design and duplicate the halftone layer and place it outside the group. Create a clipping mask. And change this layer to dissolve. And the opacity to about 10%. Now we're gonna add a new color fill layer on top and change it to B3D336. And then right click and create clipping mask and change this layer to overlay. And also feel free to play around with the effects and even the colors to make it your own. And that is how you design an alien newspaper shirt design in Photoshop. Now if you like this tutorial and you want to see more hit that like button and also subscribe. My name is Ashley and thanks for watching.